know, and what do you know? Welcome to Teaser Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus, and we're going to talk HasLab Dragonfly. The final orders have been placed in. The bell has been rung. All is in the books, folks. So the final numbers on the Dragonfly HasLab is 24,764 backers. We only needed 10,000 to move forward with this thing. And with that, it also cleared all the tiers, folks. So we got each and every one of the tiers for this HasLab. We're getting the WoW build. We're getting So we're getting the standard base items, which is the amazing looking dragonfly we're also getting my main man wild bill and with that we're gonna be getting good old night force ripcord which was at thirteen thousand backers then they came <laughs> they came out of left field with this jane glenda mulligan at the sixteen thousand backers and then they uh came yet again out of left field with this David Crazy Legs Thomas with 19,000 backers. Very excited that I'm getting Wild Bill and this HasLab Dragonfly. Yes, I did back this item, folks. Yet I do have my reservations in regards to how this whole entire campaign has been executed. In regards to, you know, the, the tears. You know, um, I'm excited about, again, I'm excited about the Wild Bill, excited about the Dragonfly. Huge shout out to anyone else who went in on this project. And uh, congratulations to the G.I. Joe team. I mean, this was, yet again, a very successful HasLab project. It just shows you how many people out there want these items, you know, from the 80s. So, I mean, again, I said this in a previous video when I talked about the uh, Cat Slayer. I'm like, there's nothing that's off the books now, folks. I mean, with everybody diving in on stuff like this, we got Cat Slayer, we had the Thunder Tank, you know, we have that, uh, the other HasLab that's coming for many folks. I didn't get to go in on it, but we have the His Tank coming. Nothing is out of the realm of possibility now, folks. So just keep your mind open to any type of base or vehicle that could be coming through the pipeline throughout the years. But in regards to this HasLab, it's, it's a bit disappointing for me. You know, now this is just my point of view on this, folks. If you disagree I completely, you know, respect your opinion. Um, if you like the tiers that I don't like, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying that you're wrong if you like the tiers that I don't like. This is just my opinion on how I see this here. So the ripcord was cool. That was all right. But then when they came with the whole Jane Glenda Mulligan, that's when it really started to get a little disappointing for me because... I just don't understand, and I will never understand to this day, why we did not get the Airborne figure. This campaign took a turn, and I feel like Emily and the powers that be over with the G.I. Joe Hasbro side of things, I think they, you know, changed plans in the midst of this campaign. For whatever reason, I feel like they went in a completely different direction in regards to these tiers, because I really believe that we're going to be getting airborne and we're also going to be getting a general hawk and for those of you who are going oh well we get general hawk and airborne what does that mean for the main line well what does that mean for ripcord we're getting ripcord <laughs> we're getting a variation of ripcord and we've also gotten you know nine thousand different versions of snake eyes cobra commander and then when you talk about a HasLab, many individuals will be getting that classic Sumbo animated Mickey Mouse Cobra Commander. It's called Variants and different versions of characters. And again, we're getting a ripcord, a Night Force ripcord. Does that mean we're not going to get a ripcord in the standard line? No, we're going to get maybe like two, three other versions of ripcord. So that argument is, is a little mute. And I noticed that Emily, in the midst of revealing that we were going to get a David Crazy Legs for the final tier, she released a statement saying that Airborne and General Hawk will be a part of a mainline release, which is cool. But that doesn't mean that we could, we still couldn't have got it for this HasLab. So this, as a whole, it, the HasLab, it's, it's a bit of a mixed bag for me, folks. I'm excited that I'm getting a vehicle that was on my wish list. It's a thing that 
I never would have dreamed that I'd be getting. And that is a Dragonfly. With all of the features and accessories that it has, we get Wild Bill. Again, one of my most favorite G.I. Joes. And then on top of that, you do get some figures. I like Ripcord. But, you know, the other ones, folks, I mean, come on, man. I mean, we, we could have gotten a Night Force Airborne or a Sumbo Animated Airborne, just like we're getting that Sumbo Animated Cobra Commander. And then with that, we could have gotten, for the final tier, a comic book version of General Hulk. Or you could have given us a Sumbo Animated version of General Hulk. And then in regards to getting these characters in the G.I. Joe Classified line, we know that the Classified line is a mixture or hybrid of the retro design, yet at the same time, it's mixed in with an updated model or look for these characters. So they're not necessarily the Sumbo animated or the retro look, yet and still, it's a mixture of the two. So we could have still gotten General Hawk in Airborne with this HasLab project, and that's my thing, folks. So I'm a bit disappointed, though at the same time, I'm still excited, and I'm very grateful that you know I was able to go in on this project. And for those of you, again, who were able to go in, congratulations. And for those of you who are huge fans of David Crazy Legs and Jane Glenda Mulligan, that's great. You know, that is great, man, because that means that this HasLab is that much more of an exciting experience for you overall because you're getting two figures that you really want. And that's what it's all about, too. And it really all comes down to what means and what matters to us. And just because I don't like something doesn't mean that you're wrong for liking it. So I'm excited for you because that means you're getting characters that you're huge fans of as well. It's just me personally. I just feel like they change directions for whatever reason in the midst of this HasLab. And we got the characters that we got as opposed to the ones that we were supposed to get initially, I feel. But as a whole, folks, I'm excited about this. Again, congratulations to the Joe team. They just think this number's just skyrocketed, folks. And uh, we're getting a HasLab Dragonfly. And I've said this many times, folks. And and I'll say it again, man. It, it just blows my mind that we're getting the things that we're getting within this era of collecting. I mean, again, I grew up in the 80s. And I could have never dreamed or imagined to be having a Thunder Tank or a Dragonfly or a HasLab Galactus or many of the figures and things that, that I've been able to collect, man. It's just so, it's exciting. And with Comic-Con and everything that's being unveiled through Comic-Con, yet again, man, it's just it's just amazing. <laughs> it's amazing, folks. So, you know, I uh, just wanted to share my thoughts on this HasLab as a whole, folks. And again, for those of you who are excited about each and every one of these tiers and everything, Huge shout out to you and congratulations because you're getting each and every figure and character that you love. You know, when it's all said and done, folks, when I get this HasLab in, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy even the characters that I really necessarily did not want. You know, I'm going to enjoy it for what it is. And that's you getting new characters that you never thought you'd get, but you're getting them. And you make the best of it. And you enjoy the fact that you're getting something like this, which is huge. So at the end of the day, man, it's this is just amazing it's amazing so that's my thoughts on this task lab folks i just want to share my quick thoughts on this project thank you all for tuning in comment below let me know what do you think about this has lab project did you go all in did you not go in on this project uh did the tears kind of deter you or was it price or were you just not interested at all let me know in the comments what do you think about this has lab dragonfly project also folks be sure to ring that bell for all notifications so that you get each and every one of my content pieces as it drops. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's right, like, share, and subscribe. If you did not already, I truly appreciate it. And folks, don't forget that I am on social media with Twitter and Instagram. So if you have those outlets, be sure to give me a follow. And don't forget to check me out on the community tab, folks. I'm always posting news and updates there. So be sure to check out my community. And until next time, be good to one another. Be safe. Stay tuned. And always remember that knowing is half the battle. And folks, I guess maybe in another year or two, we'll be flying in that dragonfly. All right, folks, until next time. Bye for now.